Now, there are two ways that God designed marriage to be a reflection of himself. Diverse unity, and it's life-creating. First, marriage reflects God's diverse unity. There are two ways to think of this term, a helper fit for one another. First, a helper fit means like opposite. That's not an oxymoron. It's something that's opposite but similar in the same way. It's kind of like two puzzle pieces are alike, but they're opposite, and therefore they fit perfectly together. Timothy Keller in one of his books on marriage said this, two pieces of a puzzle fit together not if they are identical and not if they are randomly different. They only fit perfectly and form a whole if they are rightly different. Different in a way that both corresponds yet complements. You in fact were softened on the edge of some and now you find that your pieces fit together very well. take Mariah to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live? Absolutely, I do. <laughs> Mariah, do you take Tanner to be your wedded husband, and to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Do you promise to love him? comfort him, honor and keep him, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him, as long as you both shall first told me your name I didn't hear what you said Bet it was written all over my face Should have known it was you I would love until the end It is my honor to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Clover. Yeah. down the aisle Every moment stole my breath That you could see it in my smile Should have known it was you I would love until the end I don't know where this road leads All I know is I want to go with you sure things I am sure I want to live it with you If you look into my eyes When our time down here is it's in every single line Hope you know it was you that I loved until the end Ooh. 